welcome back to my channel. So, we are just going to do some shopping, much to Jack's disgust. Yay! And it's great, I'm not driving, Jack's driving. Um, but I, I feel need like they've to... established that. <laughs> Obviously. Um, I need to return something to Primark, so hopefully I can get what I'm after and show you guys. And we're going to B&M, we need to get a new bin. Um, and just get some bits like that. And we're going to Asda to get some Asda pizzas for dinner. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you basically what we buy, but we're both in a bit of a dilemma where neither of us have eaten, but we don't really wanna go out for lunch because we're having Asda pizzas for dinner. So yeah. Anyway, I will show you what we buy. So we have just been, we did end up getting Nando's. Um, and I've done my exchanges at Primark and got some bits. Um, they had some really nice stuff. This is a new Primark we've been to and they actually had loads of stuff in. One of the items I really wanted to get for me and for my mum though, they didn't have. She said apparently they're really trending right now so they didn't have any. So I'm clearly very trendy. Um, but yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> That's what it means. But yeah, I will show you what I got later. Um, and Delma. I made 50p. She didn't make 50p. I did pay. make 50p. She spent £29.50. But I had, because I was obviously refunded 50p because the stuff came to less than the stuff She returned £30 pounds worth of items. She spent £29.50. Made 50p. I got 50p refunded onto me. You spent £29.50. <laughs> I made 50p. Um, anyway, but we're going to go and head to Asda and B&M. Um, it's um, a home bargain here, it's not really Oh, there, it's miles it? away. I mean, that is a oh. real confusing map. Um, anyway, we're going to go and do that now. But, yeah. So, we've just done B&M and the range and Asda. And we had no success in Asda. The Asda create your own pizzas. They're not doing them at the moment, are they? Well, they are with most Asdas, just clearly not this one. Oh. I like how <laughs> you sound like an Asda for Asda. <laughs> nah, sob Asda. Their pizzas, they create your own, are so good. The ones that they pre made look shit. Like, I haven't had. Who wants a. Like, no! They're no, wonderful. so we are really annoyed because we're also getting them for Jack's family as well. Um, we're really pleased that we had our Nando's now because otherwise I think we'd both be kicking ourselves. But. Oh man, that's a sexy drink. Oasis. Yeah, we're both on the. Um, I was going to say soft drinks, but. Um, non fizzy drink since we've been ill at the moment but what's the plan now just go home yeah what do you want to do yeah go home i suppose cool get caught in all the school traffic no we're getting out of here quick don't we? so we are back now and firstly we went to primark so should we do primark first yes so i actually went to a brand new primark today and I really liked it. I thought it was really good. I've just been talking to my friend and she was like, oh, I wasn't that keen. Um, but I thought the staff were really friendly. They had like some nice spring stuff in. And yeah, I really liked it. So when I first walked in, I was gripped by this gorgeous baby pink blazer. And I really wanted it, but I had Jack with me and he was being sensible. So he was like, you've got a baby pink blazer. Like it's your money, you do with it what you want, but you have got a baby pink blazer. And so I was like, yes, I'm trying to be sensible. I'm trying to be sensible. So last year, Primark did some sets for some, like spring, summer, and they did blazer and shorts or blazer and skirt. So in the blazer and shorts set, I got a baby pink one, a bright orange one, a mint green one. And then they did with the skirt, um, a purple one I got. And then the year before, I think it was, is when they actually started doing the shorts and blazer sets and they did a bright blue one. So you can actually see on my Instagram, I've got a picture of, I think the mint green one and the purple one. I haven't actually worn the baby pink one yet or the bright orange one because I feel like the bright orange one is really bright. I feel like I need to be really tanned um, and the same for baby pink because I'm quite pale. So I'm hoping one holiday this year, um, I might be able to wear them. I just, I need to get brown first. And I'm hoping that because now I work from home and when the sun's out, I can like time it. So if I've got like a break or in between clients, I can go out for a walk or I can sunbathe a bit. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Um, so I can get nice and brown and then wear the clothes without looking stupid. So anyway, back to what I was saying. I didn't get the baby pink blazer because I was being sensible. 
but I was instantly gripped by other pastels. So I went to their sports section and I think I mentioned in an earlier clip that my mum had wanted a pair of the same bottoms, like I wanted another pair and my mum wanted a pair. Um, before I went to Prague, I got some from Primark. They're basically sports legging material and they're flared at the bottom and I couldn't see them. I looked twice round for them and then I just said to the lady like, cause I thought, am I just being thick? Um, and she said they're a trending item. So they literally come in and go out straight away. And I thought, obviously I'm trendy. So um, yeah, that was really annoying, but they didn't have them. So I'm hoping to have a look when I'm away in the next couple of weeks um, at Primark there. But, oh, I'm so sorry. I've got this awful cold. Like I've been fine all day and I've got back and all of a sudden I'm blocked up again. But I got these pastel leggings, love love them i think they also had them in like a mint green kind of color but not with like the ribbing um the only thing i'm a bit concerned by is with primark leggings i've sometimes found this bit which is like under the crotch bit kind of uncomfortable and so i don't know i'm gonna try them on they were 11 pounds and yeah just love the color although i have just literally remembered only whilst I'm sat here, that I do actually own a pair of pink sports leggings um, by the brand Be Able or Able, I don't know how it is. And they're really comfy. Um, but I think they're an ombre and these are different. So they're cute. I need to, I want to wear them. I just, I love them. I Pastels, I just love them. I don't know why. I'm actually quite, believe it or not, because I always wear a lot of black. Hopefully my nails will tell you this. I actually really like colours. Like I've got a denim jacket where is my denim jacket this is this i've got a denim jacket this color and i can't think where it is it could be under my bed because i do have my summer stuff under my bed and i probably wouldn't wear it in the winter so i'm hoping it's under there because otherwise i don't know where it is but anyway then i also got the shorts version so they had crop tops if you can wear a crop top get them because they looked really cute i can't and i won't um and even if i oh they also had this unitard is that what it's called it's basically like a shorts and body set all in one i really wanted it but as jack went to me when are you gonna wear that and he just knows i'm not gonna wear that um if i was like a slimmer i don't want to say that because i think people should be able to wear whatever they want whatever size they are but for me the size i'm at the moment i personally wouldn't feel comfortable wearing that if i were on the slimmer end of what i could be and i know that um then i would love them because i think firstly they look so cute um and then you can also put like a pair of shorts over the top or you could put like a baggy t-shirt on underneath and the bottoms would look like these shorts so i just love them now shorts i probably i'm not gonna show you these on because i haven't waxed my legs and i am currently not feeling myself in shorts so i'm not sure if i'm prepared to put that onto the internet although i seem to put myself on the internet looking all sorts of states so i got these shorts same size same color um these were seven pounds which i actually think is quite cheap um and i'm hoping that because the leg is this sort of length um that i will be able to wear them without flashing everything because sometimes i find shorts so incredibly short and i just think it's just not appropriate like i'm not a prude but it is not appropriate <laughs> like i just can't see how it can be comfortable literally you've got like half of your bikini line out like surely that's not comfortable but anyway i'm gonna try them on and let you know whether or not i like those and then this is quite exciting so i never have purchased anything from this sort of range but i've definitely seen people talk about this on either tiktok or youtube and it's from their prep and perfect range and it's a vitamin enriched moisturizing primer and it's for health 50. i feel like this is meant to be a dupe of the bobby brown i want to say face base that's what's coming to mind i've never tried that so i can't tell you i know that smell oh it's a really weird texture it's like the same color my nail as my nails um it's really weird it's like spongy i don't know if you can see oh it's really weird <laughs> oh I'm so sorry, I'm gonna be sniffing the whole time. Is it meant to make your hand go white? Someone to help me. <laughs> I know that smell. That's gonna really annoy me. 
it can't be like smelling like the bobby brown one because well it could be but as i said i haven't used that i don't know what that is but i like the smell of it so i'll let you know how i get on with that if i try that at some point and then the next item let me make sure i haven't got any of that on my hands is a pair of sandals I don't need a pair of sandals, but I saw them and I like them, so I bought them. Um, and they actually had these in a few different colours. So they had these with this in the tan colour. This is white, I don't know if you can really see. Um, but I said to Jack, which pair should I get? And he was like, get the white ones. So I was going to get the opposite because that's what I seem to always do. But I thought, you know what? He's going to think that I'm being deliberately mean if I do that. And I got a bit of size six. I haven't tried any of this stuff on. These were seven pounds, so yeah. I'm hoping they'll look nice but I'm really pale so I don't know whether or not the white is going to make me look a bit weird I don't know um but that is everything that I got from Primark and then we also went to the range didn't buy anything in there um and then we went to Asda I did get a couple of bits in Asda and B&M so I will show you what I bought first thing from at B&M <coughs> toilet roll um so i just like getting cheap toilet rolls so this was like 18 for like three pounds something because i refuse to spend a fortune on something that literally goes down the toilet so we buy cheap toilet roll and then that wasn't from there got a whisk i know that's really random but i broke our whisk the other day i put it in the dishwasher don't think i was supposed to and this bit came out and it had like all prongs everywhere so i got this this was two pound fifty it's just a silicon whisk so yeah and then i got this so one of my friends she has just bought a flat and well she might be in it already i can't remember um but i like to do when my friends move out like a little moving in hamper so i'm just doing her a few little bits together for like like cleaning bits and stuff like that um, I, I wouldn't buy her anything for her home because I think, like, I'm quite fussy and I can appreciate other people would be. Um, so I purchased some Zaflora for her um, in a tulip and peach blossom um, scent. So I'm going to pop that in her little basket of goodies. And then I also got her a candle. So this is a vanilla and cedarwood candle. This was £3, so it looks like that. Oh, I like that. I really like that what does that smell of it smells a little bit christmasy which might be an issue because it's march but um maybe she can just keep it for christmas um and then i bought some of this so this is from the spice emporium like that's the brand of it and it's peri peri salt so we actually have had one of these before and we really like this so we got some more because such good value i don't even know how much this was but even if it was like five pounds the amount that's in there it's actually really good value um so we had that and then i spotted a cajun one this time so i got a cajun one um we actually really like being it's one of the things i can use to convince jack to come shopping in b&m with me is like oh what about the spices and the seasonings so he was loving that although we passed that and he was like right that's the best bit done um so yeah we got a cajun one as well and then he picked out um, this Bullseye Louisiana Chipotle hot sauce, which I would not have, but he's had this before and liked it. And then we got a Texas barbecue seasoning rub. I can't remember. We have had this before, but I can't remember what it tastes like. And then he also got, by the way, Jack likes spicy stuff, just in case you're looking thinking there's a lot of spicy stuff. A chili puree so this is just so you don't have to chop up chilies he does always have jalapenos and stuff but this is quite good like when i make pasta and stuff i just i basically serve mine up and then with the rest of his i usually do him two portions one for dinner and then one for like lunch the next day and i just squirt a bit of this in and give it a stir around and then he got a mitchum deodorant because it was actually quite affordable in there oh i forgot about this seasoning we got um chicken peri peri seasoning rub i saw this and was like jack do you want this and he said yes and then so these two or the right these few bits are for actually yeah these few bits are for my salon room 
Um, so I have a little Easter, it's really cute. It's a little Easter jar um, with like, it's basically just a jar with baby pink bunny ears. Um, I got it from Home Bargains and I have that in my salon room. And I fill it up with sweets for my clients. Um, and when my clients don't eat them, I eat them. Um, but they're just a mini packet of love hearts. So I got three bags of them. And then I also got this acrylic container. So it's a four section multi-purpose organizer from their kind of like makeup and organization section. So I thought when I'm doing my clients, I have currently have packets of lip wands, micro brushes, um, mascara wands, and like cotton buds. So I thought, oh, I could put them all in here. It's just a bit easier. Um, so yeah, that's for that. And I did want something nice because I have like cotton wool pads as well. But I just, I've got like a little pot with um, a bamboo lid that I currently have my cotton buds and cotton pads in. Um, but I just thought I can keep the cotton pads in that and then just put the rest of the stuff in here because it's easier where they stand up to just grab them like that. So I, yeah, I've got that. And then that was everything from B&M. Oh no, it wasn't. I got these. I definitely, these are featured in one of my previous B&M hauls because they're so good and I was trying to be good and Jack went to me, why don't you get them? And I thought, why has he just basically said, like obviously he doesn't give me permission as to whether or not I can have something, but he's good. And this is because I've told him to do this. He is good at saying like, do you really need that? Um, as you could tell with like the clothes and stuff. And I ask him to do it with like, treats as well because otherwise i'm so bad like sometimes i'm not sometimes i'm really good like we're always complete opposites one day he's really good and strong with the willpower and i'm like oh come on should we do this and the other day it's like it's me and so we're complete opposites um so today it was him being good in primark but when it came to in bnm he was like why don't you get them oh my god i'm so sorry these choco nibbles so good um i just love them they're basically described as chocolate biscuit and caramel flavored confectionery dusting du no dusted with icing sugar and i don't know how to describe them but they basically taste like toffee crumble if you've had that before from there's a sweet shop in my old town um a really cute little like old sweet shop where you you know you'd stand there and be like oh can i have um 100 grams of this and 100 grams of this please and they put it in a little paper bag and it was really cute um so yeah they used to do that with toffee crumble which tasted just like this so i had to get some and then we went to asda and as you know we were going to get asda pizzas and they didn't have them they basically like they had the pre-made ones but we usually get the create your own ones and they had a sign up saying like something along the lines of um so our staff can be stacking the shelves quicker we're not currently doing this and i was just like you joking it's rude um so that was really annoying but as i said i'm really pleased that we did get the nandos because jack would have been so annoyed so anyway looking around as star i picked up three things for myself firstly i got a candle i love candles i'm a sucker for a candle but i don't want to pay much for a candle like i would never personally buy myself a yankee candle because i think they're really expensive um for what they are so this is from asda asda do really good ones and this is only three pound fifty asda or home bargains is the place to go but as we went in asda and they were three pound fifty and i haven't got like that's the nearest asda to me this is in the scent coconut waters which smells like I know what this smells like. So, have you ever used the OGX um, shampoo and conditioner? I can't remember. I think it's the one in the blue bottle. It might be the one in the white bottle. That is what this one smells like. And then I got some of this Walida Skin Food Lights, apparently. Um, I've never tried this before, but I've seen people talk about it. So, uh, it's tiny. It's actually tiny. Um, 30 mil. This was like 10 pounds. <laughs> um... And do you know what absolute liberties in the light? I can see that's only filled up to there. <laughs> anyway, um, I got that to give it a go because my skin's actually been really dry. Ooh, I guess you have to shake it first because that did not smell good. 
but it did not smell good but kind of smells a bit like shaving cream but yeah so i got that and then i got some of these clips um now i got these because when i'm doing people's like eyebrow tint on stuff i just thought it'd be so handy if is it gonna come out no if i could just clip their hair away so i don't tint their hair as well um but yeah that is everything that i got from primark and b&m and asta so yeah